curious opinion of yours. Was that the reason you proposed this alliance? You expect me to lead your armies at Ragnarok? That is Tyr's job, not mine. It's plain to see Tyr's no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. Not killing gods you haven't. Or else what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might lead. I am only protecting I my... know. I know. And we both know the places protecting your child can <laughs> Sigil arrows won't work on this. They got the third one hidden away. Atreus's mother was a giant, isn't that right? She was one of the Jotnar. Yes. <laughs> I didn't mean she was tall at the house. I, I know not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with the disparity in size. Or number of limbs, say. Nothing in the world.
There. Now we can open the other gate. Why is it you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant, sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're all <laughs> making an effort to cooperate here, after all. You're right. It's not for me to say. All right, let's get that wheel turning. without water in the trough. Let me know if I can help with that. Brother, don't give up. I'm certain we can get that gate open. <laughs> it's no use without water in the trough. That's a start. Why don't we try a sigil arrow on the upper trough? Should help it stay frozen. Ah, teamwork. There's two of them. And they're angry.
ready for some fresh air after that. Everyone thought so. It is close. I can feel it. I wasn't trying to provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. And I know something about you. When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon, and to use it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Harryar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the fort. Folky! Did we overlook something in the service tunnels? What you going down there for? I came to see the lady, not part around service tunnels. <clears throat> now <laughs> you sure did go to pains coming here busting old tear loose what a prize he turned out to be huh lucid enough when it's time to steal my kitchen though <clears throat> Closing in behind you! 
To that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, quit your nattering, you snake sucking mommy milk sauce with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? Well, that ain't no good. You see what's wrong here? Coming back down till we deal with that nest up there. Come on, let's try to get close. Okay, looks like that wheel up there opened the gate. Now that we can reach it or anything. Mm. No grappling up that way. Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift? Did you notice the dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Brock than they were to see you? They did seem surprised. All right. Now I can turn this crank and cap that geyser there. You just give me the signal. the crank cover. You do the other stuff. Look around. Find an angle. Ain't this what you do? Get those cables. 
I think they seen us. Incoming! Above you! to the board. Some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. Oh, watch and learn. See? Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important. Form of the thing. Hmm. Hang on. I smell trouble. <laughs> Show me what you got. creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee-high to a Noken. But Sindri had never had it. Said I was too uncouth. But today's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> my bro, I've never seen you so... reverent. Are you nervous? What? Shut up! No, fuck you! Go on, pasty! Turn the crank! Let's do this! It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way! Let me look! Oh, fuck no! Do I gotta 
fix everything in this dang city my own self. I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Yeesh, this place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. This lady, what does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece, but the ones she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tale.